What's up, people of YouTube? It's your boy, The Hobby Collector, aka the most underrated slept on YouTuber of all time. But with that said, even with that being said, I'm still gonna give you guys one of the best videos of this product on YouTube thus far, which is Bars Leak Professional Head Gasket Seal. Now, for the people with short attention spans that want me to get straight to the point, that don't like to watch full videos and stuff like that, that just wanna see if it works, and I'm a, just for you guys, I'm gonna let you guys know, yes, it does work for the most part. Now, for those of you that wanna stay tuned for the whole full video, me breaking down my details of using this product and my overall personal experiences with my vehicle, especially if you had the same vehicle, 2004 BMW X3, you may wanna stay tuned and watch the video. I'll be breaking the video down, talking about reading the entire bottle, the directions and everything for you guys, and also, popping up images and just letting you guys see different days of me, you know, going back and starting the car, seeing if it's still working and stuff like that. So before I read the bottom, I'm gonna let you guys know the main issues I was having and started having with my vehicle. The main issues I was having as of recently was, you know, a lot of smoke on a cold start, very rough idle on a cold start and um, no overheating. I wasn't experiencing that, but I was just losing a lot of coolant to where I had to fill it up almost pretty much every day or every other day. So with that being said, let's go ahead and read this bottle and let you guys see what you get yourselves into. Bars Leaks Professional. Reinforced with carbon fiber. I believe that too, because when you pick this bottle up, it's heavy as hell. No one, no one really mentioned that inside the video. So yeah, I believe that. Limited lifetime warranty. Head seal blown head gasket repair. Stops leaks with extreme cool protection. One dosage stops all head gasket cooling problems guaranteed. You know what I'm saying? Gotta put that to the test. 33.8 ounces uh, per bottle or AKA one liter. And caution, skin and eye irritant. Of course, you know, it's a given. Warning, head seal blown head gasket repair is designed to stop cooling system leaks. Do not add to engine oil. If at any time engine overheats, turn vehicle off and allow engine to cool. Danger. Opening the cooling system while engine is hot or running may cause several uh, severe burns. No, cooling system, cooling systems with an S that are dirty or partially clogged should be flushed before usage. Now that's the main thing for all you people that gave this a one star, two star, talking about a major system start overheating even worse. That's because you didn't read. All you gotta do is simply read, read through, flush your system, then use this. If you got an old car that's been sitting around for a long time, flush it, clean it, do what you need to do, then use this. Anyways, dosage chart. One bottle treats cooling systems from 2.5 gallons, AKA 10 quarts, to five gallons, 20 quarts. Uh, but for me, for my usage, use only one half bottle for systems from 1.5 gallons, which is six quarts, to 2.49 gallons, which is 9.9 .9 quarts. For larger engines, use one bottle for every five gallons. Instructions. Install only to cold engine. Shake bottle well, remove radiator cap, and pour correct amount of product per the dosage chart. Fill radiator and reservoir slash overflow tank to proper level and reinstall radiator cap. Tip, radiator, radiator cap may be on top of radiator, on engine, mounted on a hose, or screwed on, or a screw cap on a pressurized reservoir overflow, overflow tank which is, that's where mine is at on, on my overflow tank. Um, number two, that was number one as far, as far as the instruction. Number two, turn heater on hot and fan on high. Run engine until thermostat opens or normal operating temperatures is reached. Vehicle, turn vehicle off and allow engine to cool. This may take up to 30 minutes or longer. Mine took roughly about 30 minutes, you know, um, give or take. Um, number three, on top of, on top of, oh, I'm stupid. Top off, not on top. I'm thinking about some other thing, you know what I'm saying? Top off radiator. Add cooling as needed and either run engine on high, on a high idle, which approximately around 1200 RPMs for a vehicle with a uh, technometer or gently drive vehicle for 15 minutes, which I did. I drove to the donut shop and back, which is roughly around 15 to 20 minutes, you know, back and forth to my house, you know. Number four, lastly, Top off radiator and leave bars leak, head seal, blown gasket, repair and system for continue, continued protection. Drive vehicle as normal, most leaks seal instantly, which mine kind of did, you know, um, but some can take additional uh, thermal cycles, which happens over a few days of usage. Thermal cycles mean your engine getting hot and then cooling, hot and then cooling. That's what that means. And people will use this one time and just give up and be like, oh, it don't work, but you gotta, you know, give it some time. So that's pretty much the whole bottle, I think. Oh no, it's some more stuff. High strength carbon fiber works like rebar and concrete to stop larger leaks and create a truly permanent seal. 
Okay, spit that game, baby. You know what I'm saying? Safe to use on gasoline engines, diesel engines, turbocharged engines, and racing engines. I wouldn't use it on a racing engine, just for the record. Works on all four, five, six, seven, eight, and ten cylinder engines, cast iron engines, or aluminum blocks and heads, cars, trucks, vans, and SUVs. Twice the performance of other head gasket brands. Okay, still spitting that game to us. Let's see what they say about that. Liquid ceramic. Liquid penetrates large and small leaks to form a seal, act actually harder than the original head gasket. God damn. That's some, that's some, hey, that's some, that's some, that's some bold stuff to be saying, bro. Y'all about to be able to back that up. Two in one formula, reinforced fibers, non clogging fiber add additives, locked together with liquid to increase strength and promote. Yeah, and promote a permanent seal. Head seal, blown head gasket repair, uh, contains armored, armored, I mean, um, refractory and carbon fibers providing the strength of a bulletproof vest. Damn. And the heat, and the heat resistance of fireproof clothing, okay? So lastly, you wanna make sure you protect this from freezing and then also keep out of reach of children, which is some of you adults these damn days, just to be honest. And then also have the caution of the skin irritants again. Wash you with water for five for 15 minutes if you get inside your eyes, stuff like that. Um, so yeah. So let's go ahead and get into some more details of my experience with this product and let's go. Um, this is me going through a course of a few days of me pouring the stuff into the engine, doing a whole little uh, heating cycle and stuff like that, driving it. Like I said, I drove it to the donut shop and back and then I turned it off, went inside the house now, the image that you're watching right now is me starting the car up after I did all the whole process, let the engine cool, and I came back outside, started it up. The engine is completely cold. Went to go see if I'm getting the white smoke from, from out the back, excuse me, and I wasn't. So, now you're watching me starting it up the very next day, about to get ready to go to work. Boom. Smoke? No. Rough idle? No. Surprise? Yes. Check engine light, still there, as you can see from the clip. But, you know, no rough idle, no smoke. So I'm like, hey, okay. So next day, well, not next day, same day. This is nighttime. I started the car, no smoke whatsoever. This is what time I get off work every single day at night. Well, one o'clock in the morning. And as you can see, no smoke whatsoever. You know, I'm not blowing none and the car ain't blowing none. Well, technically I need to blow some. Today is about two weeks after I filmed all this stuff and stuff like that. So, um. It's still going on maybe actually three weeks since I've been using since I used this stuff going on three weeks and it's still holding now does this work is this a permanent fix no I'm already smart enough and wise enough to understand that this is just car medicine you know what I'm saying I don't even take medicine so for me to get my car some medicine that was really a you know bold move I have you know it's like one of those moves where it's like okay I done tried everything now I'm gonna try this you know what I'm saying like first I try and put money towards to get things fixed the correct way once I realized, okay, I done did this, did that, let me try and do like a little quick fix for now. So this is a for now fix for me. I know I've seen some reviews where people say they've been driving for two years, a whole year, and they updated their review saying that, hey, it's still holding up. So I'm not planning on doing that. I'm trying to get my mind out of that process of, okay, it's running good. You know, I still got to check engine light, but it's still running. No, I'm gonna get my stuff fixed all the way. This is just a hold, you know what I'm saying? So. And that's how I feel when it comes to my body with medicine. Like I, like, I don't like taking medicine and that's all this is. It's medicine for your car. Think about it. When you go to the store to buy medicine, it's not as expensive as getting your body actually operated on and getting your body checked on and really getting it fixed and paying those medical bills. People just rather just take some medicine. It's not really fixing anything really. You're really destroying your body. It's just that those sedatives are putting it's disregarding the pain, disregarding everything. So if you're gonna use this, keep in mind that, just look at it like that, it's medicine, you know? Um, and sometimes medicine has side effects. You know, it can cause your engine to overheat. It can not work, it can clog, clog up your engine. Oh, that's another issue, issue I had. I'm glad I'm talking about this, to close this video out. Another issue I started having after I brought it from the shop and stuff like that is when I try and crank the, uh, turn the uh, engine over, it would just choke, like nothing would happen. It'd be like, mm. I get it just like lock up, like it just choke up. I'm like, what the, f like, and I turn it again. I get it just like, like, like something's like stopping it. Like, you know, so that was happening every once in a while, more often than not, but it haven't been happening ever since I used this. And now that's the number one thing that shocked me because it's like, how the hell can that stop the engine from getting choked up when people would complain about that was getting the engine choked up, 
wrap your head around that one. So the link is inside the description. I ain't talking about the Farmer John's one. You know, for this product, if you wanna buy it on Amazon. Also, my shop is down there. I do work for Amazon now. I do wanna put that out there. So if you guys wanna help your boy out, I bust my ass on YouTube. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video off right here. Thank you guys for watching the video. Give this video a thumbs up if it really helped you out, if you liked it, if it was very informative. You know, if you want somebody that's very diverse, film all kind of videos. I don't only do unboxing and reviews. You may see me doing a dancing video. I do need to get back on the cooking videos, but I'm trying to wait till I move to get a bigger kitchen. You know what I'm saying? So I can have different cameras set up, lights and stuff inside the kitchen. So when I'm filming, man, your boy stay on your multi-talent king, underrated, overlooked and slept on but it's all motherfucking good i'm still gonna do my damn thing shout out to my long time subscribers that have been with me rocking with me for a long time even the new people that's been you know rocking with your boy giving me some support and feedback down below inside the comments i be I, I believe i appreciate every last comment that i read i get emails and stuff as soon as you guys leave a comment so i appreciate it And shout out to my long time subscribers and anybody that watches my videos and stuff like that. Even watches the videos that just, that's, that doesn't even pertain to them. Like videos like this that they probably ain't even going through what I'm going through, but they still watch it because for the entertainment aspect that we know I'm going to deliver it and give it, you know, my all. It's like the fucking video, nigga. It's like. <laughs> and allow engine to cool. This may take 30 minutes or longer. Make sure my audio is still recording. I forgot to check. No, it is not. Shit. I got started with the fuck over. Damn it. That was a good ass start though. Oh yeah. Oh. You need a camera crew. Cause I'm about to get you loose. I'm about to make you yell like something was wrong with you. Undo your ponytail. Let all that fall down Told you I'm gonna be there To beat it all down